That's very cool seeing that youngster. We're going to sit here. In fact, he's playing with the other one a bit. We should be able to, with a little bit of luck, see it again. It comes out of it. Obviously, being so small, it's probably going to stick closer to the entrance of the burrow. Actually, the den is always close by, but uh, it should be a reasonable chance it's going to come out enough for us to have a good look. Since those paws and a few others like it that has walked that area to find fine dust. Very, very cool. One lying on his back. Mum's still sleepily at the back. This one seems like it's got itchy teeth. It's chewing on branches and chewing on plant roots there. One way of getting your jaw strong, chew some wood. Very content just to lay. And the youngsters at the moment trying to suckle, it seems. Oh, that little youngster's going to come out. So, oh, almost it was looking at coming out. The smaller one of the lot. Different litter actually. It's another day that typically alpha female breeds, but if conditions are good, other females could breed as well. Although these two bigger ones will be the dominant youngsters and they'll retain that dominant sort of social position as they get older. See nice and dark colored, almost black. Can't even see spots yet. Oh, big teeth, big yawn there. See the business end of Aina. Grooming the adult there. Ace teeth again. 
incredibly powerful teeth towards the back, the ones that they used to crush bone with to get to marrow. So some good canines as well. If they do hunt and they grab hold of something, very, very good ability to grab hold of the antelope's neck and choke it or whichever way they, they make their kills. Let's see whiskers as well showing again that they're also good at walking around at night. Interesting enough actually your whiskers on a lot of your predators, things like hyena, lion, leopard, as much as it does help them to feel around if you want when they're walking, they can feel things around their face in the dark. It's also very important for them when they do catch something, those whiskers are on the skin of the animal, let's say to the neck if they're busy suffocating it. Those whiskers can actually feel the vibration of the animal's heartbeat or blood if you want. So they can actually feel when they've successfully killed something using the whiskers. It's one of the other important uses for it. Look at that little guy. So he's getting kicked around between the adult's legs there. Oh, isn't that just amazing? A tiny little one. Amazing. Hungry for some milk, wants to get big like mum.